In a previous video, we showed how that you can use the reporting functionality of Nutanix Cloud Manager to get the data that you're looking for. But did you know that there's also a grouping functionality within reporting that can be used? This is especially helpful when trying to create consolidated reports that span multiple entities such as clusters. Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix, and today I wanna to show you how you can leverage this feature to take your reporting to the next level. Let's dive in. So in my environment, I'm managing two clusters named Phoenix POC 292 and Region A Robo AHV, and I wanna create a custom report to report on the cluster runway and VM efficiency. So I'll click on new report and give my report a name, and I'll call it cluster runway and efficiency, and then we can start selecting some views to add to this report. So for runway and efficiency, I'm going to select some predefined views. So we have our four types of VM efficiency and three resource runway views. Nutanix Cloud Manager uses machine learning to analyze our growth patterns and calculate usable runway. It also is able to detect inefficiencies in the VMs and highlight which VMs are inactive, constrained, over-provisioned, or bully VMs. And so this is what I wanna see in my report. So let's go ahead and save and run this now, just as is, and see what happens. So I'm not gonna specify anything. It'll take some defaults. It's gonna default to uh, the PDF format. You could give the report instance a name if you want to differentiate between them. Uh, by default, it'll just do the report name. Now we'll download that report and take a look. So we have our seven views as expected. Um, our inactive VM list, constrained VM list, over-provisioned VM list, which is uh, quite long our bully VM list, and then at the very end, we have our uh, three runway views. So you'll notice that the runway charts are only showing for one cluster, and this is because for the predefined views, it will try to consolidate all entities into one view. So for example, if we were to look at the over-provisioned VMs table, we will see VMs from both of the clusters that we are managing. And the runway charts can't be combined as they are on an individual cluster basis, so that's why we're only seeing one. So how can we split this data out across our clusters so we can see the inefficient VMs by cluster as well as the runway chart for all clusters? So this is where grouping comes in. So if I click on the edit button of the report, we can select all of these views. And then as you start selecting, you'll notice at the top, a button called create group pops up. So here we can create our group I'll go ahead and give it a name and call it cluster and we'll repeat the views in the group. So basically, instead of just doing seven, it's gonna do seven for each of what I chose to be grouped. So it's gonna do seven for each cluster. So let's go ahead and run this report again and take a look. So now if we look at the report, we can see that at the very top, it has our label cluster and now it's grouping everything by cluster. So we can first see the seven views for Phoenix POC 292 if we scroll down to the end of this first section, we can see that those over-provisioned VMs are mostly in that cluster. And then we have the runway charts for that cluster. And then immediately after that last chart, we have the same seven views for our Region A Robo AHV cluster, which we can see only has one inefficient VM. And then we can see the runway charts for that specific cluster. So again, this is how you're able to group by cluster for those predefined views where you can't actually um, customize those views. If you're familiar with some of the custom views, you'll see that you can uh, group data within the view itself. So for example, if I'm selecting a line chart and I want to um, report on all the VM memory usage, but I wanna group it by cluster, I can do that within the view itself. And what this will look like if we add it to the same report is we're going to essentially see our, our cluster grouping um, at the top. So we're gonna see the Phoenix POC 292 cluster with its seven views. And then we're going to see the region A cluster with its seven views. And then at the very bottom, we're going to see two views um, for VM memory usage. So um, one for Phoenix POC 292 and the other one for region A. So this is doing exactly what it's saying. It's grouping the data within the view itself. So in this case, it's the line chart memory usage view, which is then grouped by the cluster within that view. If we wanted to first group by the cluster, meaning we wanna move that memory usage chart into its corresponding cluster uh, using that group we created earlier, all we have to do is add that to the overall cluster group that we, that we created earlier. And so what this report looks like is it's going to now show us just two separate sections like we saw with the inefficient VMs and the cluster runway. And at the end of each cluster section, it's gonna show the corresponding memory usage for that specific cluster. 
Hopefully this helps you generate more robust reports with Nutanix Cloud Manager. To get hands-on with more Nutanix Cloud Manager features, be sure to check out our test drive at Nutanix.com slash test drive and click on the AI Ops and Automation tab. Check out our other Nutanix Cloud Manager videos and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to be the first to know when there's new TechBytes content. See you in the next video.